Hey everybody, Sunday night, back for another shave. <clears throat> Hope everybody had a good weekend. Hot day yesterday here in Boston. Very humid, very hot this week. This whole week was a big sweat pool here as it was pretty much everywhere else in this country, I think. So anyway, I'll get on with this because it's Sunday, it's about nine something, I don't know, I'm pretty tired. And uh, just wanna get I'm going to shave tonight, just not have to worry about it tomorrow morning. Anyway, last shave, I uh, I used this this uh, half and half comb, open and closed comb, uh, in this, for the second pass of the last shave that I that I recorded. <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, I wanted to give it another run with a little more, mm, a little more stubble to bite. I got about six days on here, I think. I think I think it was last Monday that I shaved. I think the last one I recorded was either Saturday or Sunday. And I uh, I shaved once after that because I needed to clean it up a little bit. I uh, wasn't as accurate as I had originally thought. There was a little bit of, you know, look like a couple of long things like right here. Or stick it right here. And a little over here, but it's hard to see in this light and I'm not an expert with a straight razor yet so but I'm working on it I'm getting better anyway uh what we have for you tonight excuse me um uh, I'm gonna start off I, I'm all washed up and everything I'm not gonna do that uh, I got this from the Dollar Tree a while back coconut oil I'm gonna this lotion I'm gonna use moisturizing cream I'm gonna use that as a pre-shave then we're gonna go with good old fashioned Barbasol because it's fast and it smells nice. It's nice. Everybody knows it. Uh, and then for uh, post, we're gonna do our alum block again from whoops, our cheapo from um, Timu. High cool, not high cool, high cool, high cool. And again, my little concoction of. Um, it's not aqua velva, um, of witch hazel with witch hazel with um, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, small amount, um, cherry blossom oil. That might be it. <laughs> oh, and a little bit of old spice. They all they smell nice together. Anyway, and oh yes, along with this razor. This is that razor that I was telling about. Uh, I think I showed you already. Uh, and inside of that, I've already loaded it. I don't want this to take 50 minutes. I'm using the Derby Extra Stainless Steel. Never used these before. But they seem pretty popular. I'm gonna try them out. And for, okay, we got the post. And then for a nice little after scent fake brute from the dollar general store dollar general and i got this little guy at market basket this is brute post shave it actually says yes uh lightweight grease free everyday post shave it smells a lot like brute not quite but pretty darn close but that's what we're going to fly with today. All right. Glad you're here. Okay. Let's get this going. I'm going to wet my face and get on with the pre-shave. Here we go. Uh, hope you're all up to something fun for this summer. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells like coconuts. Very slick. And, ooh, wow. Feels pretty nice. So this is from the Dollar Tree, so it's $1.25, as you all know. In the nose, but the front of the nose would be nice. Kind of curious if there's any, anybody else has any, anything they use, that they, anything that they have used for pre or post shave that maybe it doesn't say it on the label that that's what it's for, but Maybe you can get away with using it. Maybe it works just as well. This this is pretty 
pretty slick stuff. Feels good. Let's see if it does what I want it to do. Ooh. Get it all in there nice. Um, hot week last week, working outside. Ooh, really kicked my butt, let me tell you. No kid no more, I'm telling you. All right, let's do this. All right, everybody knows Barbasol. I love Barbasol. Woo. <laughs> I like to use a lot. Do I need to use a lot? No, but it's fun. <laughs> oh, um, I thought about maybe doing a mustache. Uh, I want to do that, but I want to do a little research first on how to do that. So I don't, not just like, okay, here it is. This is what I think I'm supposed to do. Do it on camera and be silly. So I want to do a little bit, but I haven't done that yet. So if anybody has any suggestions or anyone in particular on YouTube or wherever that they like for that kind of thing. I appreciate the uh, the info, if you can do it. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with the open cone, see what it does. Okay, Derby, here we go. Ooh. Wow, all right, well, took it right down. Not aggressive though, not, this is the AliExpress razor I, I don't know they don't a lot of times they don't it's not a yaki or anything like that they they say it if, if, if it's a brand that they, they usually say it on aliexpress but they didn't give a brand for this they just kind of said you know hybrid razor hmm feels nice so far I'm gonna try the closed comb, see what that does. I'm gonna do that under here. Oh. Well, it's either the razor is nice or the blade is nice or both. It's just, it's mild, but it's taking it down. No problem. Wow. That's Leaping kind of a lot there. Let me go back over that. Chin area, always a lot there. Always a lot there. Mm. Oh, so speaking of Dollar Tree, I was there yesterday with my family and everything. My son picked out a couple of razors. <laughs> Got a big, he gets a kick out of this stuff. Um, he picked out, because he was hanging with me, um, a package of Barbasol two blade, two blade uh, disposable razors. And one with another, uh, not, like the Assured brand, their brand uh, of cartridge razor. Um, three blades, a three blade cartridge razor and said, Hey, you know, maybe you could do these in a video against like pit them once, you know, one against the other and see which ones, see which one is better, which one you like. Oh, I'm like, oh, all right. Oh, there's a, there's a, a whole shading video right there. Didn't have to think about anything. <laughs> I love suggestions, especially if it's from my son. That's the most fun. Let's say the kid asks you to do it, he's gonna do it. So that I'll have coming up. 
Um, but I've been wanting to, I wanted to see how this razor was. The last time I used this razor, uh, I used the red, white, and blue shave that with it prior to it in the first pass. And that pretty much, that took a lot off. It was, God, it was like shaving a blank face, you know. This is a nice razor. This is a high, this is the hybrid and it's from AliExpress. If I could figure out what the brand is, I'll tell you. But uh, this, this was not a lot of money either. This, I don't know, I don't know, uh, 10 bucks or less. This is, this is pretty, pretty darn nice. Wow. I'll tell you, you can't go wrong with this. Blade is nice and sharp. Go right through this. Hmm. Working inside tomorrow. We don't have to, we'll have to think about the elements. It's just nice. Now I'm on the open cone side, just to, just to see the difference. It feels like more comes off with this. Not super aggressive at all. I've, I've had some cheap razors that really, they want to take your face off, man. This is not like that. This feels nice. Pretty nice. All right, well. I think that feels good, but hey, I don't want to be done yet. So I'm going to do another pass. This time I'm going to do it with different razor, different blade. This little guy here. This was another inexpensive off Timu, I believe. And I don't know the brand of it. Again, this is another one of those you know, it, it, it's it's got a thin sh thin thin handle. Whoop, there we go. If you go on Timu, I think probably AliExpress has these too. It has a pretty generic looking head, like a lot of the less expensive ones. It is all it feels metal. It's not heavy, but it feels like it's got some weight to it. The wanting to use it, I don't know what it what it feels like. Let me just show you the difference. Here's that big fat thing there, and then this one's a little taller, and thinner. Different heads all together. They're really very different. Okay? It almost looks like one of the, almost like one of the disposable ones, you know, like from Al Shabab or something. But it, it feels nicer. It feels like you know the like the threads are nice. There's nothing weird going on in the head. Uh, the blade snaps in nice. It's a three piece. Like you've seen. All right. And this, the, the blade I have in here is a Dorco, I think. Or maybe a generic Dorco. Dolco, D O A L C O, I think. Thought I'd give them a shot. Okay, this feels good too. Oh, wow, this is nice. This was less money than the other one. I feel like this is cutting a little closer. I gotta be careful over here. I got some pimples that just keep coming back. You can hear it. It's definitely cutting. I, I, I'm messing with the angle a little bit to them. So a little, little bit more of a, I wasn't going it, going right against the skin with the head here. I was kind of like dipping down a little bit more. Just to see, I'll, I'll try it the other way. Oh, feels good. And 
that coconut oil stuff seems to do the job. Real slick. Overall, this is a good shave too. This little guy. Yeah. Wow. For real cheap. This it, it does not feel cheap. I can't say to what it, what it, the longevity would be to this thing. Okay, I like that. I think I'm gonna call it. Is that smooth enough? I think so. If I go too crazy against the grain and stuff, I get irritation. You can see the pimples I have. Mm, eh? I don't want to, I don't feel like bleeding all over this camera. Oh. All right. Come on, high cool. Do your thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what it's for. Close up them pores. Another good Timo purchase right there. Worth every penny. Oh, I hope everybody's summer's going well. I'm hoping to get home a little bit early tomorrow after work. Got a doctor appointment. Yippee. Everyone loves the doctor. But, hey, you know, this is how we find out what's wrong with us. You know, I go every three months. Uh -oh. It's been three months now. Time for a check-in. I've lost, last time I saw my doctor, I had gained, I wanna say like six pounds. I was, the, the previous, uh, my previous trip there, I was 214, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, I think I was 214 and then I went and I was 220 this this last time. I weighed myself today, I was 205. So I got it back on track. I just can't eat sugar anymore, unfortunately. I'm not the only one out there. I'm sure a lot of other people are in the same boat. In my age, I can't do that stuff anymore. Doesn't mean you can't have fun, but for me, I just can't, I can't do it. Not to concern you with my health. <laughs> That's what's going on. That's what's on my mind. <sighs> Got a lot of work piled up here. Anybody who's in the trades, probably, I think no matter what business you're in, you're pretty much smoking right now. You're pretty busy. Um, Always talk about recession, recession, recession all the time, but I don't know. People are still spending their money to some degree, you know. Uh, people are still home. People are working from home, obviously, uh, which is good and bad. 
uh, sometimes it's easier to work when people aren't home. It's not a slam against customers, it's just the way it is. They just, they don't realize that they're in the way. Even though they're nice, they're very nice people. Uh, they're awesome, they're really cool people. Uh, but they're gonna be away this week, thank God. All right, I think I've let that sit on long enough. All right, we did post-shave, now we're doing post-shave lotion. And this is Brute. I didn't show you. This was, again, my concoction. Good stuff. I love it. My face feels great after I use it. Not too much of a burn. I don't, I didn't really, I didn't, I, at first I thought I was going to have a lot more burn. I got, I, right here, yeah, I hit it. But that, you, you know, not much it can do. This does have, it's not a strong root smell, but it's there. I might be using a lot, but usually this stuff soaks in like crazy. All right, maybe that's too much. Wow. Maybe that coconut oil really, really uh, covered my face up well. No AC in this bathroom. It's very warm. Very warm. Very warm. Very humid. Oh. All right. That's a little more normal. Wow. Hey, both those razors. Very nice. Anyway. Uh, geez, that's kind of it. That was kind of quick. Uh, well, I didn't have to mix. I didn't have to. Uh, I didn't have to make a lather. All that. I gotta say, both razors did well. Definitely, I would definitely use these again. I got four more after this one, so I'm gonna see how many I can get out of this with this shave, with this, this razor. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just switch up uh, what I'm using for soap and so forth and. See if I can get four or five shaves out of one blade of this derby. Be interesting to see. Right. Last but not least, I'm gonna do the old fake brute. Mmm. If you're a fan of Brute, which I am, I like these old scents. I don't know how many other people are into them. So this is a good one to use before you go to bed. If you don't want other people to smell you. <laughs> Unless you're sleeping with somebody. Hopefully they like it. Oh, well, that's it. I didn't have much to say tonight. That's late. I don't know, it's 9.30. I think I, uh, I don't know, somewhere around there. I'm tired, man. This humidity just makes you really yucky makes you tired anyway hope your weekend was great uh i'll get back to you again this week oh looks good i can't complain you know what this is this is a a, a good little thing to have in your arsenal if you know, uh, if you need some kind of a lotion, it's moisturizing cream, but I just used it as a, as a pre-shave. Did the job. My face feels very soft. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, I think it, for, this is a cheap shave. All of these, these were all, you know, this is a buck and a quarter, buck and a quarter, dollar 75. Well, this I made. But you know, this and this this here I think was like, I don't know, I got I, a couple bucks, I think, at Market Basket. And I got a nice shave from this. You know, these are not that expensive. You know. 
I got a, um, I got these in um, an assortment pack <clears throat> on Amazon. I forget how many blades I got. I think 60 blades for like 10 bucks or something like that. All different kinds. Um, a, a few different brands, I should say. A couple of Gillettes, a couple of Derbies, uh, Repera, Permashave, I think. Ranging from a very sharp to less sharp, or sharper to less sharp. A, a nice little beginner pack. And I recommend getting that if you want to try a few different kinds. Ooh, see what see what feels good. So far, what I've used from there feels good. I used the the Derby was good, and I used a Gillette Platinum that was good. I forget what else. I have some cheap Chinese ones too. Uh, the the one I used in here was the fake Dorco. I think it's a fake Dorco. That worked fine. Cheap as hell. That was also from. I think that was from Timu also. I mean, uh, excuse me, that's from AliExpress. That's another good source for inexpensive shaving stuff if you're looking to get into the game. Anyway, let's wrap it up. 26 minutes is enough talk. I, I said I wasn't going to talk much, but I did. I ended up talking. Anyway, have a good rest of your evening, and uh, I'll get back to you in a few days. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.